now peer review and has all the scientific uh, conditions and accomplish all the scientific conditions in order to have a, a, a scientific reference. It, it is published in Spanish and in English as well. We, we, I have to highlight just in the introduction, because this monograph is available to all of you, the relevance of it, you know, the relevance of the Spanish uh, and media society, which was the first gathering of patients in the world to create an association to promote the study of aniridia, to promote the science and development of science applied to the, the aniridia problem. This, uh, this um, society has uh, been promoting other societies in Spain and in Europe and has already 25 years of, uh, of uh, existence and was created in, in 1996. So I want to congratulate those that promoted this uh, unique society and those that promoted the European gathering of the, of the patients. In, in order to create better medical education for them and also better treatments and information especially to the doctors to, uh, to highlight this, uh, this disease and the talent to promote the study of it. The first part of this, uh, the first paper is, uh, is, and I have to tell you that all the participants are Spanish uh, researchers and clinicians, is the group of uh, Carmen Ayuso in Madrid, well-known and famous genetics that with his group they developed a one full uh, uh, article about genetics and the epidemic of aneuridia with objective guidelines of genetic study. The genetic aspects of aneuridia uh, constitute a review of the epidemiological and genetic aspects of this disease and the Pax 6 mutation spectrum update. The, the, in this uh, paper, they publish a summary of the Pax's genotype phenotype correlations to date and the differential molecular diagnosis with overlapping diseases. To highlight the importance of genetic disease in aneuridia is, is uh, essential for clinical confirmation, patient management, family counseling, prenatal and pre-implantational diagnosis, and they review the classical and new approaches for molecular testing in a very unique way. They, re they publish a molecular algorithm to establish a new diagnostic algorithm based on massive, sequence, uh, the massive sequencing, NGS, for classical aneuridia and aneuridia-like uh, diseases. Uh, this, the second article, uh, the second paper published in this monography is published by <coughs> an extensive group of Spanish uh, researchers and clinicians about the neuridium and the ocular surface, about the medical and surgical problems and solutions. The ocular surface is, it is my opinion, one of the main challenges of aneuridia because ocular surface has a difficult approach today. In this, in this paper, they review the outcomes of limbal stem cell transplantation uh, from human living donors from a, a laboratory manipulation and finally be, uh, related to the new trends on coronal regeneration using IPSS in use pluripotential stem cells and other sources of stem cells in order to reestablish the homeostasis, the, 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 the natural condition of the ocular surface that when damage is very difficult to restore and is the main challenge and limitation for the success of, of corneal graft and other uh, uh, surgeries that we use today in order to reestablish a corneal blindness in aneuridia. Christian Lenz at the changes in corneal aneuridia was uh, approached by, uh, uh, in collaboration with Clinical Racker and our group in a paper in which we review extensively one of the most frequent problems that lead to, to, to surgery to most, if not all, the aneuridia patients. The Christian Lenz changes are, can be on transparency, in the position, and the, in the size and shape. The transparency is a, a universe as well of uh, crystalline pathology. You can find all the different types of cataract in the, in the aneurysm patient, from polar to cortical to subcasular, posterior, lamellar, and nuclear, and all of them are a, really a test, a textbook of crystalline lens pathology. Not only that, this lens malposition makes a, in, a unique uh, difficulty in these patients in cataract surgery because many of them have these ectopia lenses and different types of, of malpositions that makes this, uh, the, the surgery of these cases challenging and very necessary to be approached by modern technology uh, applied to cataract surgery. The changes in size and, and shape uh, cases with microfacia or microsphere of acid that are even more uh, complex to solve, and they have to be solved in early age of life. The genomics of cataract and aneuridia 
are related to the failure of the surface ectoderm to form a placoid related to the Baxi's activity and the research in this area is unique and it's really in interesting to know better what is the development of the, uh, of the crystal LS and this, uh, this, the pathology as well. The indications and surgical management have been included in this, uh, in this paper in a way to, uh, to expand the modern indications of catastrophe and the different ways in which this can be improved, in, uh, can make imp uh, an improvement in quality of life related to the use of artificial are so uh, necessary uh, for these patients. Uh, in the second part of this paper, the, there are highlights in catastrophe in congenital and iridia from the, which is the preoperative assessment, the right operative procedure of those that are today available, dealing with complications that indeed are uh, important and related, especially to the ocular surface. This ocular surface is one of the limitations for vision, but it's one of the limitations for surgery as well in the in, in underidia patient, and making finally the recommendations based on evidence about the type of surgery to perform, the type of lenses to use, and finally the use of artificial arides as well. Glaucoma is another of the nightmares of the anderidic patient. The, an update has been made by the group of uh, Hospital Romanica Health Madrid, Universidad de Alcalá de Henares, led by uh, Francisco Muñoz Negrete. Uh, they uh, have developed an extensive review about, about the aneuridia and glaucoma, from the congenital to the, uh, those cases that appear in, in later in life. The incidence is, is definitely very high, and over 70% of the anemic patients will develop glaucoma along their lives. The mechanisms are reviewed. Also, the diagnostic, diagnosis and follow-up of aneuridia, which are the, the, the best the rules and the best uh, protocols to follow in order to create a control and a, an, an adequate surveillance of the analytic glaucoma patient. The uh, glaucoma uh, <coughs> treatment uh, has a particular uh, problem, which is the ocular surface, which becomes intoxicated and damaged by the medication many times and the preservatives. An extensive review about which medication to use and which are the most relevant molecules uh, for the treatment of this disease is also made as well. And finally, the surgical treatment, which is a particular challenge in the Lydia patients. The reasons are the, the, the poor condition of the ocular surface in many patients, the, the, the difficulty to promote filtration the, 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 to decrease the pressure in adequate levels in the long term. The use of different types of devices such as valves has been highlighted in this monography, making this uh, paper particularly important for the clinics in order to make choices not only for the diagnosis and follow-up, but also for the medical and surgical treatment. The, the macular involvement in congenital anteridia was reviewed by uh, uh, our group with Dr. Uh, Casas de Yera and with Casas, making an, an extensive analysis and database that we have created in which we have uh, developed several papers. The foveal hypoplasia is so much frequent in the in anteridia that is one of the main limitations, not treatable indeed, of uh, congenital anteridia. It's a cause of nystagmus and low vision and is one of the main causes of visual limitation that has no way to be treated. Uh, in this paper, it, it is reviewed how the foveal arrest occur because uh, the, the, its relation with the Paxis mutation that affect the, the expression of axon guidance factors and antiogenic factors in the development of the foveal region. Foveal hypoplasia is related to visual acuity indeed, and uh, the different grades of, of foveal hypoplasia and their relation with vision have been reviewed. Not only that, but also the relation of the foveal hypoplasia with the outer retina assessment, which is uh, not normal indeed as well in the aneuridia patient. The genotype phenotype correlation is today important. How heterosexual point mutations of the Paxis, micro deletions affecting Paxis, and mutations in non coding region are involved in the development of foveal hypoplasia for a better knowledge in the future to take a genetic action on this uh, problem. Finally, they may take home message about how to understand foveal uh, morphology by OCT, how to use this information to understand better the, how the phenotype will express our own life and which will, will be the limitation in vision caused by foveal hyperplasia in the different degrees. The, finally, this, uh, the, the, there's a very interesting paper that opens a window to the future and to the application of the of modern technology to aneridia, which is the use of smart contact lenses uh, pr pr use, uh, so as a promising therapeutic tool in aneridia. A very interesting uh, study and innovation made uh, by cooperation with the University of Ghent, uh, Fundación Jiménez Díaz of Madrid and Universidad Autónoma of Madrid. This group has created a contact lens that uh, resembles the pupillary function. And the iridia uh, has no pupil, and the pupil is restored with this uh, device, a contact lens device, with, that creates also an adjusting factor of plus, uh, of plus 10. 
So that means that this allows vision aid on top of the regulating the light. This is the device. This has been published and is patented, and it has been uh, published in 2020 for the first time. It's called Active Light Management with Smart Contact Lens. It has a pinhole effect related to the, to the, um, the stimulus of light. So this is uh, an only that here you can see. How is the simulation of the retinal image that can be promoted by the use of different types of pupils, like this one, as you see, uh, progressively we are decreasing, and in this way, the use of light and the adjustment of light makes uh, a possibility for normal patients, traumatic aniridia, angiotensin aniridia, to regulate the light and to have a better visual function with the limitations, obviously, that could be at the retina. They have made a simulation based on evidence, on evidence created on the on on, on the CPAT. Uh, software that really makes uh, understanding uh, knowledge, understanding um, support of the use and the application and the benefits that the analytic patients can have from this device. Finally, I want to thank you all of you for promoting, especially the Spanish Analytic Society, the edition of this monography, the Spanish Society of Ophthalmology who <coughs> peer review it and finally published as a monographic issue of uh, uh, Archivos Sociedad Española Ophthalmología and all of you for your very kind attention. Thank you very much.